Hello everyone. I'd like to uh, talk about a new feature installed on our Moodle called Hot Question. Um, this is designed to actually be a, a tool for a face-to-face -face classroom, um, although it could definitely be used for outreach, um, so that uh, questions that are burning in your students' minds can be both raised and, um, and prioritized by the students. So, for example, we've got a uh, hot question activity um, called Questions About Graphing up here. And um, maybe as a student, I'm, I'm sitting through a, uh, a presentation or a talk or uh, even an activity um, working through some items about graphing. And I might be asking the teacher, for example, why did you put the independent variable on the bottom? So I'm going to go ahead and post that. And once I do, it puts a little box over here that will allow me to, uh, to see that question or anyone else to see that question. Another student might come along and, and write a different question. For example, um, uh, like what is the purpose of circling the dots? Again, I'll post that question and it goes up for everyone to see. Now, the neat thing with this tool is that everybody can do this. However, the real power comes in next where other students might come online and so I've got another uh, web browser open with another student logged in where you can still see these same questions but for everyone else other than the person that put them up in the first place there's little thumbs up marks so for example let's say I was in a situation where I wanted to know what the purpose of uh, circling the dots was well what I would do is simply click the thumbs up and the heat goes up to one. If another student clicks it, the heat will go up to two. And ultimately, the, uh, the hottest topics, the questions that the majority of people are wanting to uh, have answered, uh, move up to the top of the, uh, of the heap and can be addressed by the teacher. This uh, tool, by the way, can be easily used uh, on a computer or personal device, such as a, an iPad or tablet. Um, or even a student's cell phone, so uh, you don't even need to have a class set of computers for this uh, tool to work. Um, once um, a particular uh, conversation has finished, the teacher can then um, push this little uh, plus button, and when they do, it goes to a new conversation, and again, the process can continue again. Um, if I'd like to see what happened before, all I need to do is just press this back button and I can go back to the previous conversation. Um, and likewise forward to go to the next conversation. Um, I can also uh, just press this button here at any point to reload just in case uh, other students have added their uh, thoughts. If you're wanting to add this uh, hot question uh, module, it's very easy to do. Uh, just turn your editing on in Moodle, and uh, just under Add an Activity, you'll see um, a new item in there called Hot Question. I simply press Hot Question. It takes me to a form, so the activity name might be Questions About... You don't need to put a description there, although you can. And uh, the big question is, do you want the questions to be posted as anonymous? If you want uh, students' names to be attached to their questions, you say yeah, uh, no. If you want the students to be able to post this anonymously, you press yes. And uh, just go save and display to, uh, to go to the question. For uh, users that uh, have their own uh, Moodle sites, uh, so uh, users not within Foothill School Division, um, you can actually find uh, Hot Question in the uh, standard uh, uh, plugins database on the main Moodle page.